This offseason, the Arkansas program has had a chance, much like the Saints, to take a deep breath and usher in a fresh wave of stability. Coming off the program's worst season in seven years, the new normal has been nice. This past spring was our first stable, you know, setting in a while. We knew that the coaches was going to be who they were. You know, we, we were learning a new playbook and things of that sort, and we didn't have guys to come in and try to, you know, just throw it all at you. Everything's different. You know, that's what happens when you have a new coaching staff come in. They're not really going to do a lot of the same things as any other coaching staff. So it's, uh, you know, it's just different than anything we're used to. We're all embracing it. It's fun for all of us, and uh, we're excited. The Hogs lost more than eight games a year ago. They lost the bulk of its offense, and that includes skilled guys like quarterback Tyler Wilson, running back Niall Davis, and wide receiver Kobe Hamilton. But they did gain a Brett Bielma, who has brought the swagger back to Fayetteville, and his players are feeding off it. He's a great guy. He has an open-door policy. You know, whenever you – he's never too busy for his players. Of course, he might not be there sometimes, but if he's there, you know, he – he has an open door policy with him, and he, he sends it to all the coaches, you know. Whenever we need to talk, whether it's about football, it could have nothing to do with football, you know. It's, it's good to know that you can go upstairs and talk to your coaches. He's a real laid-back guy, you know, um, plays with his dogs and things of that nature. So, you know, he, he's real cool, but um, he, he means business at the same time. And um, one thing about Coach, Coach, Coach Bielema is what you see is what you get. So uh, a lot of people like that. He doesn't beat around the bush with anything. So. I guess you can say that's rubbing off, though. Arkansas will unveil a new coach and a new quarterback in Brandon Allen, who won the job in the spring and has won over the team ever since. I know this. His last two weeks of spring ball were off the charts. I mean, every day you literally saw him do something the day before that he hadn't done. He's got a live arm, got a great head on his shoulder. His mom and dad raised a great kid. I'm excited because the potential tag is hanging big time on him. While Allen gets in the groove, it will be a role reversal in Fayetteville as the defense may have to hold down the fort for a change. With eight starters back and one of the best D-lines in the SEC, these hogs like their chances. In the past, it, it has been all offense, but um, we, have, we do have a young quarterback coming in. And um, that's one thing about, about it, that um, defense wins championships. And um, Coach Bielema, he's a defensive-minded coach. And um, we're really focused up front to stop the run and make the teams one-dimensional. So, and, and that's what you want to go past as far as myself being a defensive end. So the defense hopes to dominate. The offense hopes to mature. The result will be an interesting fall where finally things appear to be getting back to some kind of normalcy again in hog heaven. Mike Neighbors for CST Tonight.